What the heck is going on boys and girls? My name is No Mercy Merc and I've been watching a lot of smaller streamers on Twitch lately and a lot of them just don't have their audio quite right. Sometimes their game audio is way louder than their microphone and sometimes their music is just unbearably loud. So I wanted to make a video today kind of breaking down the meter that you see in OBS or Streamlabs OBS to give you a range of what audio should be in each different category so that you can take the guessing work out of is my volume too loud? Is my music too loud? Is my game too loud? You won't have to think about that anymore. We'll, we'll, we'll break it down. First things first though, in order to get the most out of your meters in OBS and Streamlabs OBS, you're gonna wanna split the audio so that you can fine tune each individual source separately so you can just get it just perfect. And lucky enough for you guys, I already made a video showing you exactly how to split all your audio between game, Discord, music, and your microphone. The link's right there if you wanna check it out and then we can get right into it. Oh, and did I mention it's 100% free? There's literally no reason not to. I know you guys are kinda of seeing like a streamception right now, but where I really wanna draw focus is down here in the bottom right where this audio mixer section is. I'm currently in OBS. It's gonna look roughly the same in Streamlabs OBS as well. And what I really wanna do is I wanna kinda of make this like a priority list for you guys. So first and foremost, the number one most important thing for any stream is gonna be your microphone. I've jumped in many streams where the video just wasn't there, but the audio was so nice that I actually stuck around longer than I thought I would. So when you're looking at your microphone meter here, where I typically like to float around is getting as close as I can to that red without peeking all the way up to the zero decibels right here. So I usually say a good range here is from like your negative five to your negative 15. Like you don't wanna be too loud and actually peak the mic, but you don't wanna be too soft or else they're gonna have to crank up their volume on their phone, on their computer or something. And it's just not gonna feel natural when you're like transitioning from something like YouTube to your Twitch. What I wanna put number two on the priority list is desktop and game audio. I mean, besides you, People are on your Twitch stream for your content. So that being your game, if you're reacting to a YouTube video, something along those lines. So for that range, I like to be around the negative 20, negative 25 decibel range because that gives you enough headroom that your mic is easily going over that. So they're gonna hear you over that audio, but they're still within that decibel range that it, they're not gonna have a hard time differentiating the two, or one's not gonna be overpowering the other. They're close enough. Number three on the priority list, I wanna focus on Discord. So Discord should be kind of in the same range as your desktop and game audio, because honestly, they should kind of be like cohesive as though you're talking to your people in the actual game. You don't want a huge separation. So I tend to shoot for that same negative 20, negative 25 decibel range. And honestly, this one's a little more difficult because you're going to have to adjust each individual person within Discord to kind of get a gauge of where they talk at, where they yell at, and certain things like that. Last but not least, the fourth item on our priority list is going to be your music. So I believe the decibel range for music should kind of depend on what scene you're in. So if you're at your starting soon screen, you can kind of have louder music because nothing else is going on. You're, you're probably not talking. If you are talking, you should at least be able to hear yourself over that. So I typically like to be in that negative 20, negative 25 range for my starting soon screen. And then for when you're gaming and doing other things, I kind of like to have mine float around the negative 40 decibel range. But this one's completely based off you because some people like their music a little more present and some people like it a little more ambient. So I would say anywhere between that negative 35 to negative 45 decibel range and you're gonna you're gonna be happy in that range. So to kind of recap everything in one place, the microphone, you should be floating right around that negative nine decibel range, you know, floating into the red a little, making sure not to peak. The game audio, you kind of want to be a little softer, but within range so that it feels natural. That, that range you're gonna wanna be negative 15 to negative 20 decibels. And then for Discord, you're gonna wanna kinda imitate your game audio so that your Discord friends kinda sound like they're within the game and playing the game with you. And last but not least, the music kind of depends on what scene you're in, if you're in your starting soon screen, 
you know, you can give it a little bit of a bump because you're not really going to be doing anything else and they're just going to be enjoying the music. And then when you're like in game or just chatting, you know, drop it down to that like negative 35, negative 45 range and you'll be set. And as always, guys, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to drop into my Discord server, DM me on Twitter. I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. EST. You'll find all those links down below and uh, good luck streaming. Good luck to 2021. We'll see how it goes.